Hello and welcome to the first multiplayer tutorial. In this tutorial I will just be explaining how the multiplayer system will be working. So um there's the server which will be stored on either your computer or an actual like server thing that you would pay for. And then the server has an IP and this is just like a standard IP for a computer with just a blank, two things at the end blank, basically. So, and a normal server wouldn't have this unless you're hosting it on your computer and not something that's meant for hosting servers. And then it also has a port, which is test to be a number that nothing else is using as a port, so it can connect to all the different clients. And then the server will connect to any things it wants to and then start sending information back and forth in between them to communicate and do stuff and each of those things will be the clients which will be the computers that um, are connected and you can have any number of these one two three four even ten billion if your computer could hold it um, but you can't do that because your computer wouldn't be able to keep up with all of them and then each of those has their own IP and they have a different IP, but they all have to connect to the same port to access the server. And then they'll just send data in back in between each other. So the data that um, a thing might send to the server is its position data, and then the server might send back the position data for the other clients that are near you that you could see. It. So you can see like the players moving around and stuff like that. So this one, all I'm going to really be making it to show you is a the basic server system that can connect to any number of clients and disconnect from any number of clients and send stuff to all of them back and forth and then um, integrate it into one of the games that I was working on and have it so that there is a um, chat system and a system where you can see like other players moving around and stuff like that and we'll have like it so it sends the position data like shown here and then that um, data will be interpolated between the do different frames or you can just make it be a really fast speed which it sends the data back and forth but that'll make it slower obviously or just like a really fast interval I meant so then it'll just look fine, like it'll look smooth, and because it's constantly sending new data, and then they won't look weird at all with the interpolation. So, yeah, that's, and also we add like a command system to do a few things, to tell the server to do things, to tell, do other stuff with the client, just like some examples sent back and forth. So, in the next tutorial, I'll start showing how to program.